Aunt Jackie's was good. I look so dumb. I'm sorry. Hey YouTube, it's your friendly neighborhood Natural Lex, or you may know me as Chocolate Lex on YouTube, and I'm back with another natural hair video for you guys today. Eh? Mm-hmm. And in today's video, why am I so extra? In today's video, y'all see from the title, I'm about to be trying something out that I've never done before on my channel. I'm going to be doing a mousse and a gel wash and go. Oh my God, girl, are you serious? Yes, girl, I'm dead serious. Where I got this from was, of course, one of my faves, Kimberly Sherelle, who is also a natural hair content creator on YouTube. And she did a, um, a foam and gel I'm sorry, sorry about that. Kimberly Sherrell did a foam in a gel wash and go probably like a month or so ago. I don't really know what's the difference between a foam and a mousse, like is it the same thing? I don't really know. But she got this really, really fluffy, big fro from it. I can't remember if she liked it or not in the video. But I liked it. I remember seeing her on Instagram and I was like, bruh, what does she use on her hair? So I'm here to try it for my foam or my mousse. I'm gonna be using the Frizz Patrol Setting Mousse by Aunt Jackie's. Now, I used this mousse on my latest Flexi Rod set. That video is up on my channel, so you guys go and check that out. So bomb, 10 out of 10, would definitely recommend. My hair was shiny, it was soft, it was bouncy. I was like, yes, Aunt Jackie's. Do that for me again, please. And then I have the Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink Flaxseed Elongating Curling Gel. Now, I've had this in my possession for well over the time that you're supposed to keep these things. This says 12 months. It's definitely been longer than 12 months. I did use this in my um, wash and go where I mixed all my gels, but I haven't used it by itself on my channel. I just low key forgot about it. But I figured since they're both from Aunt Jackie's, why don't I pair them together? So a little bit of hair details real quick before we get started. Y'all should know why this bag is on my head, so I'm not gonna get into that. I shampoo, condition, deep condition, and right now I have the Kinky Curly Not Today leave-in in my hair. This is my first time using this on my channel. Kimberly Sherrell also uses leave-in in her video as well. I don't really know how this is gonna mix with the other products, but we're just going to see. I've really been enjoying the red hair, you guys. However, this will probably be my first and last time dyeing my hair red because red bleeds everywhere and it stains everywhere. My shower is currently pink and I will have to deal with that when I finish my hair. This is what we're looking like with just leave-in. I think my curls look pretty, pretty darn good. If I do say so myself, if I do say so myself, if I do say so myself, well, y'all, I rigged this little towel thing and I just put two clips here because I know my hair is going to be dripping. I might as well just get a wrap -a shouldn't I? So I don't have to be rigging stuff like this, right? Did I shave? Mm. I do have some, I have some peach fuzz under my arm. Y'all just gonna have, y'all just gonna have to, Deal with it. Honey, I don't know if my neighbors is arguing or what, but I just hear like loud talking. I wonder if they on a balcony. What's really going on? Okay, I'm sorry. So, a lot of y'all wonder how I do the bag method, and you just have to work around the bag, basically. I'm gonna just spritz my hair a little bit. Oh, what? This thing always trying to play me on freaking camera. Don't play. So let's go ahead and use some of this mousse. Good thing about mousse is that it dries quickly. <sighs> it smells so good. So we're just gonna apply this mousse. 
Now, I don't know what kind of definition I'm going to get because it's a mousse. Okay, so this is what we're looking like with just the mousse. I think I kind of used a little bit too much. So instead of two pumps, I'ma just do one on the next section. And here we have our Don't Shrink Gel. It's kind of thick -er. and oh dang, it's probably gonna take my hair forever to dry. Good Lord, and I have somewhere to go tomorrow. I'm going home tomorrow actually. As you guys know, I did retire the shingling method, so your girl is team break it up now. And I love that for me, in the words of only one Jess, because it saves me so much time. Now, these are my curls with the gel. I'm gonna clip this out the way, and we are going to keep it moving. I'm gonna go ahead and put my part in. I think I wanna do a side part. I know for my wash and goes, I always do a middle part, but I really wanna switch it up and see what the side part looking like though. <laughs> I think I was using too much product cause as y'all can see, this is all foamy. This side, I believe is starting to dry cause I started on this side. This side looks good. I did slick down my edges a little bit. Y'all know I don't like slicking down my edges. I don't really have edges like that. So I kind of just let them do what it do on their own. Why I can't stop messing with this? I don't know if this is gonna last in a side part on this side. Cause this is just not, this, is, this should be a bang, like high key. I can't see. This is why I do middle parts right here because of this. I'm going to sit under the dryer for a bit, probably like an hour. I don't have a hooded dryer, but I do have the attachment that goes on the end of my dryer and I'm just gonna sit under there. Wouldn't it be great if my hair could just dry at this length? It's not, it's gonna draw up, but this is a cute length for me. Bruh, you guys. We we have to talk about this. We have to talk about this. Okay, so listen. This is my hair after I sat under the dryer for an hour. Now, just feeling around. Most of it is dry. What's not dry are my ends on this side. Um, But y'all, let me say it again. Most of my hair is dry and this is the length that we're at. This is where we are at. I'm shook, but I'm also concerned. My hair always shrinks up when I do anything. Wash and goes, twist outs, perm rods, what, whatever. This looks like I stretched my hair. I have not stretched my hair. I sat under the dryer and that was that. Is the Don't Shrink Gel working? I mean, I haven't even stretched my hair and we, we sweep and shoulder. <laughs> We're sweeping shoulder with no stretching. Let me back up. I am feeling this. I'm feeling this a lot. Aunt Jackie's, bro. I didn't mean to say bro. Aunt Jackie's, what's good? Okay, I'm done. My bathroom is a mess. I gotta go. But I'll see y'all in the morning. So it's the following day. It is. 9 12 in the morning and believe it or not my hair completely dried yesterday this is how i preserved my hair last night i'm gonna go ahead and take this down <laughs> i am liking what i see thus far 
So these are my results, mind you. Mind you. I haven't stretched it. This is just my hair, I'm so shook. I do want a little bit bigger hair. So I'm gonna stretch it just a little bit, not a lot. Y'all know sometimes I get happy with the stretching. Once I do that, I will come back. I don't know y'all, maybe I don't need to stretch it. I'm gonna stretch it. I will BRB. All right, you guys, so I stretch my hair, I fluff my roots, and I applied a little bit of edge control on this side. And these are my results, and I must say that I'm very, very impressed. Now, the thing that concerns me is hold. I don't think my hair is gonna last long. A lot of my styles don't last long when I consistently work out because I sweat a lot. I know my roots are going to frizz first. That's a given, we know that. And I definitely think that I'll be revisiting this combo again. I actually like for my hair to have a little bit of crunch and it does feel like that in some areas, but it's not a bad crunch. You can just tell that there's something on my hair. But when my hair is crunchy, it lasts long. So with this, I know this isn't gonna last long, but I just can't stop touching it. It feels really, really good, really soft. It smells wonderful. I am all done here. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow your girl on Instagram at Buy Me Alexis. Let me know if you've ever tried a mousse in a gel wash and go. How did it go for you? What you like, what you didn't like? Let's talk about it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I know I already signed this video off, but I would be doing a huge disservice to you guys as well as my channel if I didn't come back and show y'all what my hair looks like days after. So today is actually day four. As you can see, we're very frizzy. Um, I'm also losing color up here somehow. I have worked out every single day since I did my hair, so um, I'm not mad that it's getting frizzy or disappointed because I knew this was gonna happen. This is okay, I guess. I try to wear my hair down as long as I can before I put it up because I don't like to wear my hair put up all the time. Overall, I think I'd give this probably like a 7.5 out of 10. Yeah, super, super fluffy. This is definitely gonna make a really, really nice puff. Still like the products. I still probably will use them for something else. I just gotta figure out what that something else is. And yeah, so sorry that I signed this video off early, but I just wanted to give you guys an update and I'll see you guys in my next video.